Hello, you guys. What is going on? Uh, I am finally getting around to playing the Stanley Parable. After wanting to uh, play this for a week now, I know Markiplier has already beat it, but I've managed to refrain from watching any video on this game, so I know absolutely nothing about anything about this game ever. I, all I know is the very intro, where you like come out that's it like that's the first room is all I know from the demo that's it that is really cool it actually captures the mouse in those computers right here and that, that is oh you can see the fraps in the corner that's cool um, does it change these buttons is it like it's just like a projection of the that's cool anyway how do we start the game oh I'm in options okay you are playing the Stanley parable begin the game D is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the loading. Never the end. Three frames per second while we're just absolutely destroying this loading screen. Three frames per second. Hmm. Hope this loading doesn't take too long, because, yeah. Sucks that YouTube can only go 30 frames per second, because... I'll watch the uh, recording and then watch the YouTube version and like, oh my god, why is it so laggy? And then compare them and be like, oh god damn it, I didn't realize how much of a difference 30 frames had. It has quite a big ass difference from like, it's like super fluent to like, ultra lee mega lee choppily. Ultra me ultra lee mega lee choppily. Say that three times fast. Ultra Lee Mega Leechopoly. Ultra Lee Mega Leechopoly. Ultra Lee Mega Leechopoly. Actually, it's not that hard. Click. This is the story I will not skip. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders click, came click, to him through a click, monitor on his desk, click, telling him click. what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. What? As though he had been he made exactly for this job. He's just like floating in the, the middle of the universe. He's alone. He's just in and one day something okay. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Mm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Whoa. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, well I can say right now, this game is very, very, very impressive with uh, 60 frames per second solidly running while recording. That even though my computer is now pretty good, that is pretty nice, uh, and it looks All nice too. What could it mean? Stanley decided to oh. go to the meeting room. Whoa. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That wasn't sixty. No that that wasn't Stanley sixty. Looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Where my is what? Oh, it just shut behind me. Okay, well, who cares? Yeah, it it has little lag spikes. I guess I can crouch. I can't jump. I don't think. How do I jump? Would it ease to interact? I guess you can't jump unless. Whoa, whoa, what I do? E click something. What I... Hold up, I'm gonna check if you can jump. Just, just cuz. Edit keys, I guess. Uh, there's no jump. Well then, oh, jump, jump. I saw. No, I didn't say see jump. I guess you can't jump. Huh. All right, pretty empty in this in this building. I don't like it. 
it's all too quiet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, well, I have... N I know nothing about this game past this point. This is as far as I know. So, shall we go on the door on the right or the left? Let's go on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, <laughs> and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm just going to be an insubordinate little piece of doo-doo. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. To, to this asshole. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley <laughs> simply stood here, drinking it all in. Whoa. All right, let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ooh, I don't know. Should we follow the game, or should we piss this guy off and just completely ignore him? Oh, it's it's tempting. No, episode one, we're gonna ignore him as long as we can. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Wow. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. What? What? Hold, that, hold on, I'm No, this has to have an explanation behind it. I mean, I don't... I can't just say some something vague like that and not explain itself. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. That's a little counterintuitive, I think. Okay, so should I get on this? Because, um, yeah. Oh, well. Can you die in this game? Because that'd be Look, insane. Danny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. Ah. Someone. But in his eagerness to prove that he is okay. in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged <laughs> to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Well, I am very powerful. I have enough power to end a life. Oh, no! Oh, God, screw, screw you, announcer. You shouldn't tempt me like that. Stupid sign. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. No. no, 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 whoa, 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 what ha What happened, can I, oh, I just closed it, okay, I thought it just shut on me, like, no, you're an asshole, you're not playing this game, that would suck. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting well, room, I, and Stanley knew it I, I didn't well. know that perfectly Perhaps well. I wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Well, you didn't finish your sentence, so I don't well, know that perfectly well. Yes, this room... Dun 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 nope. Actually, I'm just gonna shut it. So, oh, I can't even shut it. What a douche. Okay, so signs are okay. Shut up, shut up. I don't care. I know. What if I jump not off the? No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm not that stupid. Can I make no? I'm not your enemy. <gasps> Boxes. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Mm, the Please, announcer. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, <laughs> nope. to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. May contain information. <laughs> this this game is awesomely detailed. Thisness. Whoa! Oh my! Whoa! Oh, Stanley, you need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. What? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What? What happened? I'm confused. Oh, Stanley, is that you? What? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, 
now. I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make Shut a up, here, you Stanley. douche. God. To see something. Come it's inside. a little harsh. Show you what's really going How about no? I'm not, I'm not going inside your story. But you're in my story now. Oh, no. I should have listened to him when we were in the real world. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stan. What? No. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> let me out. No. Open the window. What if I just don't press three? I know it's your story and all, but I don't. I don't feel like. Okay. So, note to self listen to the announcer from now on. Except for right now, because I don't want to press three. Because he's an asshole and I'm not going to listen to him. Does it mean three up on the top or on the number pad? Hmm. Guess I have to press three. I press three. Nothing's happening. Should be a more specific game. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay, why do you have to be such an asshole? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Actually, that's is that is that why I'm here? Is that why I'm here? Lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Okay, um, so if you're making fun of me for just pressing buttons and listening to everybody. Why am I here? Because I don't listen to authority, and I'm an anarchist. Mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, screw you, screw you, announcer, screw you, you are mean, and I am about to die, and, uh, why am I just listening to you? Because I have to, or else the game doesn't end. And I heard those audio bugs, don't, don't make, don't act like I didn't hear those audio bugs at the beginning of that sentence. I heard so those he audio bugs. fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. <laughs> Spend time with the boys. That needs a Z at the end of it. Erase that S and put a Z now. Or I will complain so, all over Steam. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Okay. As he wandered Whoa. through this fantasy world, wow. Ooh, he began aw. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round wow. room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it... The Stanley Parable. Tell my kids a story. Well, first of all, so the, was that the kid that just shit all over the floor? Because I don't like my kid very much if it was. And if it was her, then we need to have a talk about not shitting on my floors. Because I'm not cleaning that up. But that pretty much, that I'm not cleaning that up, so... You can get right on that while I tell my kids a story. Fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, Heard that and bug. again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Whoa, I just looked at the TV and apparently the Red Sox won the World Series. Not that I really care, though. But there is no what answer. What the? F what? How could what? This possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. 
Press U to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. <sighs> here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Should I push it? Just to be an asshole? Oh well. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him uh. to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press E to question nothing. Do I question nothingness itself, or do I just literally have no questions? Oh well. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Oh, do we have to restart? Perhaps. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? And that is scary. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What happened? What happened? Did it crash or did I died? Did I just die? Like it sends just cuts off, and I put tried again, and Stanley pushed, mm, and then it just cuts off like that. That was creepy as hell though. Just box appears. Please die. Why? I don't think I like that option. Can I just go back to pushing buttons, please? I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah. And then I died. Oh. Uh oh. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Yeah. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley <laughs> thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy. For Heard that audio bug. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. <laughs> but the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> Did I? Oh, I just died. D did I just die? Wait, what? Okay, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. But, um... Oh, fuck, can't open that again. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, it really means a lot that you guys are watching. I have seven loyal subscribers at this point. I know they're actually real because posted a video like two hours later, seven views. So that was that made me feel very happy to myself. And you guys are gonna be the pioneers of a multi million subscriber fan base and you will be smothered in pancakes and sausages. So anyway, Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I don't have an intro or an outro right now. I lost everything when I got this new computer. That will be up soon. Go away. Voodoo cursed Imago soul. That's pretty emo. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next that Stanley Parable. Shut up. Spot. It's part of a game. <sighs> to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. I don't think... And if he just stays right <sighs> I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. I don't think you understand how many gigabytes Fraps videos take, sir. So please do not interrupt my outro. Which is non-existent. So, um, yeah, the outro is gone, but it'll be back later. And, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in in the next video. If you like this one, if you don't like this one, then piss off forever. I'm just kidding. I love you so much, even if you hate me forever and just watch this video. Just thank you for even giving me a chance. 
And if you do decide to subscribe, hopefully I can be on this channel for years and millennia and make you happy. So, um, I will see you guys later, hopefully. Mm, peace.